Now let's see if I can get back into the feel of this. All right, you I do not want to see right away. Both of you are great. All right. Um, and he comes back anyways. Well, <laughs> oh, I didn't see, am I going first or second? First, right, because I only have three. Second place gets four cards. No, is that not true? I don't remember how this works. Uh, so, with you, I guess I will just be drawing up. All right, yeah, he is. I am going first. All right, so um, I will not be able to build something first turn, so I might as well just start getting my mountains down. Next turn, I can just plop some, uh, another mountain there and drop the fire elemental to get another one moving out. Or, could I do, I could like double, I could do like two lands over there, or one, one, and then drop a f mountain there. We'll get the herald out there. On the turn after that. All right, moving up a little defensively there. Right, I should have dropped the Herald here that first turn. I forgot they can collect. They'd be able to collect after moving. That was a mistake. All right, well, uh, he's jumping out to a quick thing there and getting the Mace Man. Ooh. All right, well, my Fire Elemental would be able to kill that off. I've got a Tax Collector now, too. That's good. Um, so I might actually not drop the Fire Elemental drop the herald over here and then get a tax collector over there all right so oh he requires two mountains hmm all right well that's okay i'll drop another mountain there drop the herald there oh, wait he should have been on the other side to protect him and that over there and the turn next turn I can move them out to collect the Feria. He moves down there. That'll be riskier with my Herald, though. At least, though, I'd get the boost from that. Yeah, just, well, the Heralds aren't that great without having more health to support them, probably. All right, he set up a double collector over there. All right, so... I think I want to drop that and that, move you in, move you in, and then get the fire elemental up there, <laughs> grab a mountain up a little closer. All right. Yeah, I'd like to keep my Herald a little protected. Although now I, I should really just charge it in to get start getting that boost. Assuming that just stacks up, right? Alright. I also have a Flame Burst. The problem is the Herald would not trade with the Mace Man. Um, so, probably want to go around some way instead. I'm going to, if I do this, this, I can move that up, move that back, and I blocked off that slightly, and we'll end the turn there. Second shard. Next turn, I'll move the fire elemental up to keep help on claiming that. And I probably should have tried to get this guy set up. All right, he's got the fire elemental going in there. Also working on moving that collector in, and he's got a boulder thrower. Uh, so, I might want to get my own boulder thrower down. Or I could get Magnus in. 
charge him up. Let's see. He's going around that way. I could just flame burst his fire elemental down in a second. Uh, I do have to worry about this bowler thrower being able to take out this guy. So I think I'm going to drop this here. Drop my own boulder thrower up there. So now it's got him and him in its range. You're going to collect that. You're going to move out of the way. And I don't need to drop any of these things right now. So we're going to end the turn there. So now he needs to get the fire element. He's got both of those things right now in my line of attack. He is going to move that down there. Um, so I can trade my fire em elemental into that if I want. Still have my herald over there for collection. If he doesn't move that, I can just boulder thrower it and then flame strike his there. Or, yeah, he's going to move it out of the way. But I can keep uh, I can keep that area a little dangerous. All right, so let's see if I dr I could actually drop something up there to tank. Oh no, I can't tank the boulder thrower shot, right? Um, but I can move my boulder thrower over. I need to get my tax collector out of the way. That would require me to place something down there. All right. Um, I think I do want to do that trade. Move you up there. And then we'll move the boulder throw over to gather that. We will drop that there to get you away from him so the boulder thrower is not hitting both. And I'm going to hold off on all that stuff and just hold on to the Faria. I mean, it's quite possible that he also has some extra removal against my boulder thrower, which would be unfortunate. But... Or he's just going to move his stuff out of the way. He is. All right. Okay. And he's going to try and ping it down with the tower. Interesting. Good to know. I could just take out that tower with my flame burst. Got a village elder. All right. And that fire elemental... Can still take that down. I could get Magnus, like drop lands there and just charge Magnus right up into the center. That might not be a bad idea. Get some threat on him. What's he at? 11? I'd also probably want to flame burst that down then to make sure it doesn't survive. Um. You know, I could also even actually block off that mountain. So I can drop these here, here, drop Magnus there, and prevent him from doing more Faria collection. I'm going to try that. Oh, he is, right, he is charged, not uh the other thing all right and flame burst you down and nothing's in the range so you're moving up there and i think that's good he's backing it off all right does combat effects do they trigger when I attack a building? I don't actually know the rules. The the I don't remember the rules to that anymore because it's been so long. 
All right, getting the guy with taunt to protect. Yeah, makes sense. Um, I won't even be able to go over and grab that. I was hoping to get up here and drop a uh, land up here to get in his face, but won't happen. All right. And that's going to be getting ready to attack Magnus as well. Hmm. Alright. So I've got a Kobold Warlord there. Um, you can't move, right? I could just attack with you. Do I do that, or do I hold off? I think I might hold off, move this over here to be able... So that if he does do the attack with that... Uh, he's just going to attack with both of those ones, isn't he? Uh, so that will deal... What is this? Lazarus deal two damage to all creatures. Ooh. Can I make that work to my advantage? I think I probably could somehow, right? So I would take out that, hit him down, that would keep that alive. So in that case, I would not want to move this guy over at that point. Um, first draw card, alright. So, I think I do want to take that out. Oh, I'd lose my Herald. And that would mean if I do that, he can take me out. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do that. And then gain... Then gain a Feria and drop a Kobold Warlord up here, boosted from that last guy. And then end the turn. I may have just wasted too much Feria there. Um, but it means if he wants to attack with my, the, uh, me with the Ogre Battler, he can. Uh, but it is his decision. He might try to do something else. I'm just trying to find, okay, he is. Alright, um, I might do that. Try and get all this stuff real cheap. I'd take four damage from it, which isn't the worst, right? He took out that. I forgot he was going to do that with that. Okay. Um, that's unfortunate. And now he's in range of... He's going to be able to shoot this. Shoot. Wasn't thinking about all that. I need a bit of removal for him. Alright. Wait, why did it... Oh, wait, is this his card? I remember seeing on the subreddit that a card was had di wrong words. Is this the one? Because it just dealt a damage to me, and that's not what it said. All right, uh, I think I'm going to start with the Blood Song. And then, ooh, if I can get all this stuff out, I can make him free as well. So I think that's what I'm going to work towards. You are going to move up there. Um... And we're going to drop a Village Elder over here. Underground Brigand will go... Oh, shoot. That's not good, because I realize he's going to attack everything around it. You are going to move up to there, then. And... Get that for free, and I need more card draw, I think. Whoop, I should have done that earlier then. Now that's messing things up. Ah, shoot. Alright, I'll probably want to do that next turn. Should have done that draw earlier. If I'm going to draw a card, you need to do it at the beginning of the turn so that you can plan for it. Uh, Alright, so. What's happening next? 
if he expects that's gonna just attack that, yeah. So you are now all the way up there. I'll maybe drop the Bloodscone Golem up here. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Um, got an Ogre Battler. That would be nice if I could get some stuff up there. Alright, yeah, I'm going to drop a Bloodstone Golem up here. And then... So he's going to require more than just this to get through it. But I don't want anything next to it. So you will ignore the damage from that. So, I don't want you going up against him. Or her. Shoot. This is not looking good. Um, and that will just explode stuff. Let's draw a card. Okay. Um, well, that would have been nice before. Alright, you're moving over there. You are falling back. You are moving up. You are moving up. And do I drop a Blood Obelisk? Yes, I do. That's going to go over there. The rest of this is staying for now because of that Boulder Thrower. I really need some removal for that. Hmm. Okay. So let's see what his Boulder Thrower does now. I say he can just run those two in against each other. Which is kind of what I'm expecting. Um, that would really hurt. I, f I forgot this guy, I, it's a production effect and not a... I thought that was the thing that happened when he just came right in. Alright. Doing a bit of damage with the Blood Obelisk. Alright, um, I can probably try to take this out if he doesn't move it. I'll take a little bit of damage from it, but it could be worse. Okay, another range thing. What else does that do? One of his creature attacks gains. Ooh, okay. And he's lined it up with this. And he's backed that off. Alright. Okay, and this changes everything. Um, I feel like I really need that to be used to try and remove this. So, I believe I drop the lake, put it on this guy, jump him up, and attack over to that. So that is what I will do. Uh, I'm going to leave that spot open there. Perfect. All right. Um, then you'll move over there. You'll back up. And you will advance. Do I drop the Ogre Battler somewhere? There's nowhere good to put them right now, I don't think. So I'm going to leave those. Maybe want to get a mountain up into the center here. Yeah, he's going to trade those. That was obvious. That just is bo boosting me a bit more. Um, I'm thinking Mountain Ogre Battler. To threaten that. I don't really have anything to fight this now as a problem. Maybe I'll draw something on my turn. I'll have to see about that. But Shara definitely causing issues. Ooh, okay. He's getting Bloodstone Golems, which is not good for me. They're going to be able to do quite a bit. So actually, it's probably going to be Mountain here. Ogre Battler to threaten both sides. Yeah, especially now that he's just claimed that. 
All right, and five. Ooh, wait. Three damage to all enemy creatures? That is perfect. So it looks like there's going to be a Firestorm, because that'll deal three and three. Three kills, three leaves alive, but I can just literally move the Village Elder up there to block the shot for now. Uh, let's draw a card and see what happens, because now I'm not... That requires them to die in combat, but that's okay. I can drop... I'll drop that, because uh, this one will die in combat. Firestorm. Then you will move up, take that out, you will go over there, and you will start advancing again, and gonna hold off on you guys still. That's the one, could give me card draw, oh, well, could've used that on my own guy there if I had been prepared for it. Um, ooh, Queen's Guard. I think I might actually drop the Queen's Guard up front. Now might be the time. Yeah, I will, won't be able to get up there quickly enough probably to steal those lands. It's a little unfortunate, but what do we got? Another boulder thrower. All right. It's okay. I can threaten that. Ooh. Well, I might just drop a doom scythe on him. You're going to move up there. Yeah, I'm just going to doom scythe that. To threaten the orb and everything. Um, oh, I should have done this first, drawing the card. Got a taunt, can't get anywhere perfect with it. So, um, oh, I messed that up. I was going to put a mountain there. Shouldn't have drawn. All right, well, we'll drop the Queen's Guard up there. And I think then drop the court gesture jester, it'll buff one of these things. Kinda hope it's one of those two. Yes, alright, cool. Eight eleven ogre battler is good. Alright, we'll keep those in hand for now. We'll see if I can grab the mountain there or not. Because if I can, then I think the Kobold Warlord, actually the Ogre Battler, might just drop in there. Right. I could have, I should have dropped the Court Jester right there to just block that hit. That was stupid. Alright. Um, that's okay, the Queen's Guard can still take this out currently, or my Kobold Warlord can. Probably the Warlord, actually. Because then the Warlord will... Maybe buff the Queen's Guard. Uh, Alright, looking for options. That's okay. Sure, I guess. It's not going to help you there to remove it unless you can at least drop a lot more than that. Uh, are they claiming that spot it looks like then? Alright. In that case, I'll probably drop a mountain here. And, uh, Bloodstone Golem. Alright, so I'll actually probably move this back to take that out. Although then I can't take out both of these things in one turn as easily. Hmm. Although actually if I go and attack that, he has to attack me. From the Taunt. Um, but I don't want those Bloodstone Golems going. So, well, let's move back. Let's see. Alright, it's gonna buff him. All right, interesting. I think you're going to move up and attack that. Honestly, it might be worth it. No, I think it is better to just send him in to attack this. And then drop that and get that down. And then... I have so much stuff, but I don't have anywhere I want to put them right now. You're going to move up. Yeah, I didn't get any. He, he definitely got all the land advantage, but kind of okay. 
I have a huge fairy advantage right now because these blood obelisks and the amount of damage that's be uh, that we're doing to each other. Let's say I don't think. Okay, there it is. Taking out that one. Hitting me. Should have blocked myself off again. Yeah, does if he has enough damage for a kill there. That would have been a stupid move because I could have dropped something to block that attack. If I lose this because of that, I'm going to be real upset with myself. Then again, this is my first time playing this game again in months. Alright, well, that's also... Yeah, I've... That's, this is not good. Um... I really screwed myself up here. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let me just draw a card and see. Can I do? Nope. That's only to a creature. Uh. All right. Four games fairy and draws two cards. Um. Do I have any... Nope. I might just do that to get the cards again. So we'll drop him. Destroy him. Ooh, he'd be nice to get down. Alright. We're just going to move you up. Drop you. You're going to take that out. Um, we're going to put an Ogre Battler back here. So that he'd have to get through that to beat me and drop those and get one of them up there to also start moving up. All right, so if he gets into combat with this brute, I win. <laughs> um, if I can find a creature to kill with Cypher's Wrath, I win. <laughs> I'm just really worried about this three health. I really need to put something down there to block that range shot. I kept forgetting to do it, and that's going to be a huge problem. All right, that's not something that helps you win. You have zero fairy left? Okay, that makes me feel a little better, too. Uh, last words, deal two damage to my opponent. Can I Cypher's Wrath my own Flame Spitter? Uh, actually, I'm gonna move on. Let me try that. Oh, wait, no, this is the thing that just deals one damage now. Shoot. Well, we'll hit that. Th those guys will take him out. Um, I could Cypher's Wrath my own guy, but I don't think it does that effect anymore. Let's draw another card. All adjacent enemies, that's not what I need right now. You're going to move up there. And get a brigand there. And the turn. So if you can't do anything now, the game's over. What are you doing here? Mountain. Interesting. Alright, he's got the damage from that. <laughs> Man. Okay, but... But, we're good. I can attack, attack, and then Cypher's Wrath. So... One... Two, three. Oh, all right. I forgot. Pat on say or past that point, you can't. You can't. So that was a very well fought game. So, cool. All 
Alright, yeah, getting quests. Alright. Well, that worked out pretty well. I made a couple of bad decisions, but that's what you get relearning the game, so. Get another one going. Felt the deck worked out pretty well. I'm lacking a bit of mobility. It might have been better to go into a little more blue to get those combat guys moving around more. Obviously, I didn't have access to the yellow, so I couldn't do it that way, but... Some more things like... I mean, that Triton Banquet saved me there, I think. And some more things like that would have been probably useful. But it is what it is. That game, that seemed to take a fair bit of time, didn't it? I wasn't looking at the exact thing, but... 